Galvanometer A galvanometer is a device used to detect current. With appropriate modification, it can be converted into an ammeter, which can measure currents of the order of an ampere or milliammeter to measure currents in the range of milliampers or microammeter to measure microamp currents. Construction A light rectangular frame on which a coil on thin copper wire is wound is pivoted between two almost frictionless pivots and placed between cylindrical poles of a permanent magnet so that it can freely rotate in the region between the poles. The poles are suitably shaped and a small soft iron cylindrical core is placed at the axis of the coil, free from the coil to obtain uniform magnetic field. When the current is passed through the coil, a torque acts on it and is deflected. This deflection causes the restoring torque in the spiral springs attached at the two ends of the coil and the coil attains a steady deflection. The pointer attached to the coil moves on a scale and indicates the current. Principle and Working The torque developed in the coil due to the current passing through it is given by tau equals to NIAB sine theta where N stands for number of turns in the coil, I stands for current through the coil, A stands for area of the coil, B stands for magnetic intensity of the field and theta stands for angle between area vector of the coil and the direction of magnetic intensity. As the magnetic field is radial, angle between A bar and B bar is 90 degree in any position of the coil and sine 90 degree being 1. Tau equals to NIAB. The restoring torque produced in the springs is directly proportional to the deflection phi of the coil. Therefore, tau restoring equals to K phi, where K stands for effective torsional constant of the springs. For steady deflection phi, NIAB equals to K phi. Therefore, I equals to K by NAB phi or I is directly proportional to phi. The scale of the galvanometer can be appropriately calibrated to measure the current. To measure very weak currents of the order of 10 power 11 ampere, the galvanometers with coils suspended by an elastic fiber between appropriately designed magnetic poles are used. Conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter. A galvanometer can be converted into a voltmeter by connecting a high resistance in series with a galvanometer as shown. The value of this resistance depends upon the range of the voltmeter. In series connection, the current through the galvanometer is same as that due to the resistance. The total resistance of voltmeter equals to Rg plus R. Ig equals to V by Rg plus R. R equals to V by Ig minus Rg. This works as a voltmeter of range 0 to V volt. Since the value of R is high, the effective resistance also has a higher value. Thus, voltmeters have high resistance. Ideal voltmeter has infinite resistance. Conversion of galvanometer into ammeter. A galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter, device measuring the current flowing through a conductor by connecting a low resistance called shunt resistance in parallel to the galvanometer 
as shown in the figure. Let RG represent the resistance of the galvanometer, IG the current which produces full scale deflection in the galvanometer. Since the shunt is connected in parallel to the galvanometer, the potential difference across galvanometer equals to potential difference across shunt that is IG RG equals to I minus IG S whereas S is the shunt resistance S equals to IG by I minus IG into RG this works as an ammeter of range 0 to 1 ampere the effective resistance of shunt and galvanometer is 1 by R effective equals to 1 by RG plus 1 by S it is to be noted that as the value of S is low the parallel combination has a much lower resistance it is for this reason that ammeter have very low resistance ideal ammeters have zero resistance